Okay, so this video is gonna be a bit different than what I usually do. It's literally just a time lapse of me uh, doing a wash and wax on my vehicle. It's been a pretty frequent question that I get on this channel and I just uploaded a few videos on the Optimum Car Wax and a, the method I use to wash and wax in the heat. So I figured it wouldn't hurt if I just upload a full length video of a time lapse of me actually cleaning my own vehicle. Now uh, I started with the wheels on this one because I actually have a hose. This is my home location, so I'm able to to wash it, to clean the wheels and tires with an actual hose. Um, I have hubcaps, so I'm only using one brush, and I'm not going for perfect by any means necessary. But I do have hubcaps, so I, I don't need to get that extensive with the wheel cleaning. Um, so I'm just using one fender brush to do the wheels, tires, and fenders, um, and that's you know, it's more of a maintenance upkeep. So I'm not gonna give the tires, you know three, four different passes to scrub all the dirt off. I mean, it's gonna get dirty in the next couple of days, especially because of the weather, but since it's a personal car, I'm not going for perfection. Just trying to make it look better. That way it's just, you know, more presentable and it's just to have a have a cleaner car. And if you can see on some of the video, on some of the wheels that I'm cleaning, I'm actually using my hands. Um, a lot of times, like, you wanna use a brush, you wanna have suds, you wanna spray APC, but a lot of times, like, if you just have a towel, your hands or, or gloves over your hands, just use that to scrub off whatever, um, the, the edges of the wheel to take off the, the brake because you don't always have to use a specific tool or product to get something off. Um, so now we're here starting off on the, uh, and I always start off with the roof because you never want to work over yourself. So uh, by starting off in the roof, the water will run down and then I'll just keep on working down. So I never, if I started with the, let's say the bottom of the door and I work up, then that's completely working over myself because the water is going to keep on dripping down to the clean area. But if you start from the roof, work yourself down, then you're not overworking yourself because you're working in an efficient manner. So um, keep that in mind whenever you're really detailing anything, you want to make sure that you're detailing as efficient as possible where you're not working over yourself and you're not doing double steps where you could actually take one step. So I started with the roof. I cleaned the entire roof. And remember, this is still in the heat. So this is how I, how, how I would kind of detail a car in the heat. I did the entire roof. I washed it. Then I'm going to get the clay bar and clay it down. And then I go and pr I proceed to apply the wax on the roof. Um, and depending on the size of the vehicle, you may want to do one half and then the other half, like you want to wash clay and seal in one step on the one side of the roof, then move on to the next. It just depends on the condition, how hot the panel is. At this point, it wasn't burning hot, um, so it was manageable and it's a, it's a re you know relatively small vehicle, so I could get it done in one go. Um, but if you have like a huge truck SUV, then you probably maybe want to go one half of the roof at a time. And then after that, I choose a, I just go to a side of the vehicle and actually start doing the same process. Um, now now keep in mind though is that if you are in the heat, uh, most likely, well, chances are there'll be one side that isn't getting hit by the sun, and uh, you want to make sure that you know I did it. I did this part first. It does. I don't. You know, it doesn't really matter what part you start on, but make sure that you are aware that you know there's gonna be one side that's cooler than the other. So if you do want to like go the whole car and do it all in one step, like you want to wash the entire car, you want to wash and clay the entire car then make sure like you pay, you're paying more attention to the side that's getting the heat because it's always gonna dry quicker than the side that's being cooled. So just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that like how the sun's moving, the time that you're working, maybe, you know, the cool side that you're working right now is gonna get hot in a little bit and the part that's gonna get hot, it's gonna get cool in a little bit uh, cause the way the sun's moving. So maybe you should start off with the cool side, finish that part, then move on to the hot side where the temperature's kind of dropping and it's not as hot on the other side. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And with this product that I'm using, you don't need that much, which is why I love it so much. If it's, you know, for it being a, a, a spray wax, it comes, it, it, it comes out pretty thick. Um, which I really, really uh, like. And I, I've had some comments from uh, detailers saying that it doesn't really work in the heat. I mean, I'm working in, I mean, as you can tell that I'm sweating, um, I mean, I'm working in pretty hardcore heat. Uh, actually, that day wasn't too bad compared to other days. But, you know, me using Optimum Car Wax in the heat, I've had absolutely no problems with it. Uh, it doesn't drown me, it doesn't leave streaks. Um, and again, I always use the, the, the two towel method to dry, or basically to, to wipe off anything off the vehicle, whether it be the spray wax. Um, or this or water now with water obviously it's it's a, it's there's a lot more water on there So I will use two towels because one towel is gonna get much more saturated than the other But with the spray wax I do just use one towel because I'm not I'm not laying that much product down I'm using maybe one or two sprays per panel uh, And then I'm just wiping it off so I can, I can get away with one or two towels for the spray wax But I'll definitely need two big towels for drying just because there's so much more water um, 
and definitely and as you can tell in this right here is i'm spraying the the uh i spray the clay lube away from the parts that i've already cleaned so as you can tell i i angle the spray bottle uh away towards away from the roof and away from what i just cleaned that way i i, I minimize the amount of mist that i get on the clean parts of the vehicle so whenever you are cleaning, uh, whenever you are playing, uh, make sure you have you set the nozzle on the on the on the correct um, on the correct setting on how the mist is coming out, and then two, make sure you're spraying it away from the clean areas. Uh, yes, you're still gonna get mist from the wind. That's that's the, that's the high possibility, but it does minimize how much mist you get on the vehicle. And here, actually, my camera was starting to overheat, so I moved it all the way back to the shade because uh, uh, it was—I mean—it was really burning hot. Even the the, synth, the camera itself told me it was overheating, so I, I moved it back um, so it wouldn't overheat. But again, it's the same process uh, all the way around. It's it's pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, a lot of people have been asking me on how I do it, or you know, especially because it's in the heat. A lot of people do face the heat. And here's actually on the hot side that I'm working on. And as you can tell, look, the the, um, the temperature is changing, hence why the sun went down. And you'll run into that a lot. And it's, it's it can get rather annoying when the temperature changes. Uh, just because, uh, especially when you're recording something, like as you can tell, the, it, it completely changed. Um, but again, you do want to, you know, one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're detailing is... You know, you can use the proper tools, the proper products, the proper methods, but one simple rule that's going to stay forever is move faster. If, you know, if you are having a hard time with your water spots, if if it's still so hot that the water is drying, you know, it's not something that we want to hear, you know, move faster, work faster, but it, it is a huge variable when you're detailing out in the sun. If you can just move faster, then you, you'll, less, you'll lessen the chance of the sun drying the product. Now you can also uh, work in more specific panels. Like here, I did the entire left side, which was completely hot. Um, and if it's too hot, if it's if your product is drying too quick, then simply do you know one door, move on to the next door, move on to the next door, and do every step as you go. If it deems what you, if that's what you actually need to do in order to get the job done, if the car is just simply that hot and you can't do the entire side, then go panel by panel. Yeah, it'll take longer, of course, but you know you'll probably save time more instead of working over yourself than if you just do it right as you go uh, the first time around. And here we go again, just me applying the wax. Uh, again, you don't need much of this product. That's why I like it so much. And working on the rear side, remember the, re the, the, the back end of the vehicle is always gonna be one of the dirtiest because obviously the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Um, so I always save that for last, not because it's dirty, it's literally just because of preference. Um, and if the, if it's really dirty, because uh, Every, every back end of every car will be the dirtiest if you haven't washed it in a while. It's just aerodynamics, that's where all the dirt travels to. So if it is really dirty, I would actually use a separate towel or a wash mitt to clean the windshield, uh, cause it, it, I mean, they, it gets pretty dirty. Uh, and again, same, same here, same process here. Now, one thing I do, what you'll see is that in the, uh, in the crevices, uh, where like the, the window sits and then there's that, that small little crevice. Um, you know, if you have a, uh, if you have a water hose, obviously that'll help, but most of the time I don't, I try not to use one. So I'll actually use the, uh, spray bottle to rinse out those tight areas. Uh, it works really well. Um, as, and you'll, you'll be able to see it in a bit, but, uh, you know, is the car gonna come out 110% perfect? Like, am I gonna, you know, is it gonna come out brand spanking new? No, not at all. And that's something you have to really keep in mind when you're doing this, is that you're not, you know, if the customer is paying for perfect and you're trying to deliver perfect and that's what you promise the customer, then yeah, that's something you should go after. But most of the time, these wash and waxes are not going for perfection. So keep that in mind when you're doing the services because that's what's really gonna eat you up and eat your time and your profits. So. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It was just me ranting on. They didn't really know, you know, how to really structure this video, but that was the wax on the wash and wax. Hopefully you took something away from this. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the next video. And yeah, just let me know if this was like, uh, if this is something you want me to do, just like make a time lapse of me working and then just talk over it with no real structure. Just, you know, as my thoughts go in the video runs, I'll just talk. So leave those comments down below and I will see you on the next one.